Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Shana Modoni Joroge, or Noni, as known by the family. And as Shosho Lizzie's first namesake, I am very honored to be standing here to represent the grandchildren. We are 12 in total, namely Ayana Wanjiro, Shana Modoni, Ethan Boro, Jonathan Gige, Sydney Boro, Shaza Kerich, Jay Boro, Shamil Modoni, Lizzie Modoni Karaoke, Ian, Philip Degwa, and Lizzie Modoni Wanyoike. Shosho was an amazing woman who did so many incredible things. She was a businesswoman, an entrepreneur, and was invited to speak at different churches and events all the time. She was always on the go and saw great potential in everyone. As much as we admire her work so much, to us, at the end of the day, she was just Shosho. She always gave us chocolates, warm hugs, and consistently opened her home to us to have sleepovers whenever we wanted. She ensured that her home was our home too. During these stays at her house, she would ask us how school was or if we were doing any new sports or clubs, and we could always feel that she was genuinely interested in our lives and who we were becoming. I can vividly remember a conversation I had had with her before going off to the US for university. We were on the swing outside her house and I had told her my fears and worries about moving across the world and being independent, about making new friends and leaving my old ones. But despite how wary I was, she didn't fail to tell me how proud she was of me and how much she knew I would excel in everything I did. She encouraged me to be strong and said that she had no doubt in the world that I would have an amazing time in my next step in life. And I took her words with me all the way to the US. However, this immeasurable pride she felt extended to all of us grandchildren in many different and unique ways. Shosho was a very busy woman, but never failed to spend time with us and show us how much she loved us. When such a busy, busy woman makes time for you, you know you're special. Our Shosho was a very brag-worthy Shosho. I know bragging is not good, but as kids, we couldn't help but say, my Shosho owns this, or my Shosho has done that. And looking back at those times, all the way up to now, we can't help but smile at the many, many things she has accomplished. All in all, us grandchildren are so grateful to have been able to experience life with a Shosho like ours. Someone so humble and ready to help others. I know my younger cousins, who may not have gotten the chance to interact with Shosho in the ways that us older grandchildren did, will grow up hearing nothing but wonderful and uplifting words about Shosho Lizzie. Shosho has taught us many things throughout her life, like how to have a generous heart no matter what. And although her loss deeply pains us, for the past few months she bravely fought through her illness, instilling a fighter in each and every one of us. When we look around this room, all we can think is how crazy it is now realizing that after her passing, truly how many people she positively impacted and how many lives she had a hand in developing. Although we now use the words she was or she used to be, she will always be our Shosho, a powerful, determined, and sacrificially loving individual whose absence will forever be felt. Thank you for everything, Shosho, and you will be missed dearly. May you forever rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you.